Ipsilfin. So congratulations to Ipsilfin on getting a gifted sub. I hope you enjoy it. Um, Alright, so we're going to drop, guys. Here we go. Our first match of the night of PUBG. I'm very excited. As you know, I'm just a massive fan of this game to this day, even though <laughs> I played it on launch day on Xbox One. And I still play it to this day. 2020, we're still playing this shit. Can you believe it, guys? It's that good of a game. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Ooh! Ooh! The leaderboard is blocking some of the pop-up notifications. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying the stream stats, the actual data is blocking the notifications. Okay, then watch this. I just fixed it. Now I won't do that. Now the notifications will cover the sub count. So there you go. Thank you for letting me know. Already got people trying to troll with tips and stuff. I'm not playing that sh- Yeah! I'm not paying any attention to it. <laughs> okay. Sir, <laughs> this is such a feelings. We know you love PUBG. How did you know? You got entire year that I was playing Black Ops 4 Blackout, and I said, wow, what a superior experience to PUBG. The whole year was a lie. I was lying to myself, the viewers, and everyone, because the truth of the matter is... We all know nothing can top PUBG. Nothing. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter what you do. Nothing could ever, ever beat what this game has done. We know that. We all know that. Come on. All right. Roblox. Oh, that's one I'm never playing again. <laughs> Don't get me started on that weird shit. In reality, I might have played Roblox again if you guys didn't tell me to play that fucking Minions game with Gru, uh, Gru running around like Sonic. That was it. Seriously, when I saw that, I was like, I can't play this anymore. I can't do it. That broke me. That shit broke me. I was like, I can't ever touch this again. <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> That's the end of that. Jack Spartacus just sent me five dollars. at time for your favorite game. That's right, Jack. Thank you very much for the top tip of the night, by the way. Get that up on the leaderboard in a moment here. But yeah, hi, that's you're absolutely correct. Is it raining? Yes, that's what that noise is. What sucks is I gotta get across this river. I guess not. I guess I could just run through these buildings. Yeah. Where's Jim Bob? I have no idea. I don't know what, what happens to viewers who don't show up for a while. I hope Jim Bob's okay, because you're right. Jim Bob was a very, very long-standing, frequent viewer of the streams. He was very friendly with myself and with everyone. We loved hanging out and, you know, loved having him as a viewer. I have no idea where he's been recently. I hope that... I really do hope that he's... I sincerely hope that he's all right and he didn't get hurt or something. That's why he's not around. I hope that it's of his own volition that he hasn't been around. There you go. <clears throat> Shout out to B Diggy, who has subscribed for three months in a row, eleven total. So how's it going? Hope all is well. Thank you, B Diggy. Yes, tonight is a uh, the night is going well so far. I would say, you know, earlier today was the first major stream where I played Pokemon just for the sake of catching the Pokemon. There was no story, there was no side. It was just gotta catch as many as I can, gotta catch them all, right? And I think today I probably caught about 15 Pokemon. I could be a little bit off there. But I think I caught about... I, between the Evolves I did and the new ones I caught, I think it was about 15. So I'm thinking... Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy shit! This guy scared the shit out of me. That guy didn't even have his gun drawn and it killed me. You saw that, right? The gun wasn't even drawn. And I died. He was pulling it out... And he shot me and killed me. This game is so bad, dude. <laughs> what a bad experience. But anyway, um, I figure if I can get like 10 to 15 Pokemon every stream, I still need about 115, so that would be like, what, 
maybe six more sessions. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. I am going to do a night session this weekend, Sunday night, to see if I can get different Pokemon on a night session. I guess we'll see how it goes. Remember, I have to trade Pokemon and do stuff in order to actually uh, to get them. So, All right, wow. A lot of, donate, uh, a lot of uh, excuse me, not donations, but tips and, and contributions came in. So hold on a second here. Um, <clears throat> CM Fool to me $3 and said, a nona priest and a rabbi walk into a bar. The bartender says, what is this? A CM Fool play the quiet man joke? Badoom tish. Tech Enthusiast, uh, seven, tip me six dollars. That's the biggest contribution so far of the night. And he's been watching your content since 2010. Thank you for the years of entertainment, particularly vlogs. I wish you and Kat joined success in 2020. Have you considered playing Terraria for a chill stream? Uh, I own Terraria. I bought it years ago. It was during an Indies Marathon that someone had nominated it, and we were going to play it, and we never got around to playing it. Um, it was kind of the backup game. Um, so... You know, I have considered it. I never I never got to it. Considering, excuse me, that I'm playing a game that's kind of sandbox building and that kind of stuff in Minecraft, I figure hey, doing two of those... Like, I tried to do some Nautica. It didn't really work. Even though we played it several times, it just never really caught on. Because it was like, you know... I, I, it, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to say no, but at the same time, I would be a hard sell for me to be playing Terraria at the same time that I'm playing Minecraft. You know what I mean? Because it's a very similar game. Oh, uh, PW dubs to me a dollar says, Phil, I've always wondered why do some people type content as content or contributions as contributions? Because they say that I have some kind of a weird accent because I came from the East Coast. And they think that I ac I, I have an accentuation on certain syllables when I say it. So that sounds like I'm like like saying it louder. So whenever I say con, they think, oh, instead of saying con, he says con. See? Content. Instead of content, it's content. And because I say it like that, they accentuate it when they type it out. So, let's say six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 more dollars in tips. So we're up to $16 in tips tonight. Thank you, guys. So throw away the third. What is this paragraph you typed, dude? This is huge. What is this? <laughs> uh, Third of the third, he chooses it. Look up sending media share to Streamlabs. People can donate with YouTube links from DSP Gaming. You have full control over the vids play or not. I'm not doing that. Anthony the Dark One did a $2.06 cent tip. He says, hope you're doing well. Really wanted to get into a great game. I think I'm getting Witcher 3. If I can remember, do you recommend it? Yes. Of course. That game is great. The only thing I didn't like was the combat engine I felt was kind of... It, it was just kind of overly complicated and, quite frankly, felt a little outdated. Like, it felt like it wasn't modernized and streamlined for a modern audience. <clears throat> and because of that, I actually didn't really like the combat of the game that much. I didn't hate it, but at the same time, I didn't really like it. Um, I felt that they could have done a lot, a lot different stuff with it. Um... That would have made it more accessible to modern audiences. That being said, the insane amount of content, the insane amount of stories and well-written dialogue and missions and meaningful content in the game, the world design. Dude, there's just so much great stuff about Witcher 3 that I don't even care that the combat wasn't so great in my opinion. So, I'd recommend it to any RPG fan. You're looking for a game with a lot of content, great story and everything. Definitely play it, dude. Definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> Okay. You're absolutely right. I dismissed Third Eye the Third's uh, paragraph. Only a sentence in. I'm not reading all that crap. It's literally, it's like seven, eight sentences running on this giant idea of something that I just, I'm not doing to begin with. I'm not setting up YouTube videos to play on the stream. It's not happening. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The knows nobody says I'm 50 hours in The Witcher 3. I've mostly done side quests. And there's that much. And the thing is, the side quests are actually good to the point where it doesn't feel like, oh, this is just fetch quests and shit. It's actually really good, meaningful side quests. They put so much time into the development of that game, you can tell. It's such a good game. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> Richard Link, I've heard of this. I don't know how it would work. He says there's a plugin that allows you to to basically have an overlay on your stream that shows your button inputs. It only works for PC, I believe. I could be wrong there, but I think it's PC inputs because in order to do that, it would have to run through a PC app or something on your PC in order to capture those inputs and just play it on your PC. So I don't know how that would work considering I play mostly console games.
Okay. Okay. Who I like better, Batman or Superman? Batman. Everyone likes Batman better. Ren Jesse James resell for 30 months. He's a 30 months sub, th turned 30 years old. Glad to have you in my life for nearly a third of it. Finding your Resident Evil 5 playthrough in 2011. Wow, that was a long time ago. Good to have you. Wait, where am I? Oh, shit. Well, this sucks. I wasn't paying any attention, and I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and there's no buildings nearby. Well, fuck. Oh, right here. So you have fooled to me a dollar. What's the story of Kingdom Hearts 3? The story of Kingdom Hearts 3 is that Square Enix, the game developers of the franchise, completely destroyed themselves by putting themselves into the worst hole ever in gaming. Having so many different spin-offs that they made the story so convoluted of Kingdom Hearts, there was no way they were going to be able to satisfactorily wrap up a game in just one outing. So what they did is they basically satisfied absolutely no one. They didn't have a story that was good enough for those who were hardcore fans. They didn't have gameplay good enough for anyone looking for a challenge. Um, even casual fan if you players thought that the game was boring and didn't make any sense. So, yeah, they basically... They, the story of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 in a nutshell is failure. What's hilarious, though, is everyone admitted this last year, but now that they've announced the absolute silly... Um, the absolute silly DLC supposedly coming out this month with, like, fucking Final Fantasy characters... Now it's like the fanboys have come out to defend the game. Oh! Oh, it's so good. It's going to be what it was supposed to be. Yeah, I can't wait. It's like, dude. It's a year later. A year later, and now they're going to add the content that you apparently were looking for in the original game. And you're going to act like that's fine. <laughs> I'm not playing it. I don't care about that shit. I'm not going back to that fucking game now. I'm button mashed my way through it. You know, I didn't absolutely outright hate it. <clears throat> But I certainly was not in, Oh, fuck. I certainly was not in love with it. I knew the game had many shortcomings. And, uh... I certainly didn't fanboy out about it because of that. And... As you saw, it was my number one most disappointing game of 2019 on my list. It really was. That game had monstrous potential that they completely fucking squandered. 100% squandered. That game was not entertaining. It was pretty much just button mashing and hoping you could piece together this insanely convoluted story. For someone like me who didn't care about the story, there was like nothing for the game. Like there was nothing to appeal in that game to me, uh, To me, you know. It was almost like they only made the game for 100% hardcore fans who were absolutely demanding a story resolution because they had played so many games over the years and they were like, we don't want to believe we wasted all that time and money. For something that you guys are going to rip us off and not give us an ending for. You know? So they're like, okay, fine. Fuck it. We'll do it. We'll we'll give you the ending, you know? And uh, it wasn't good. <laughs> the Anthony the Dark One now has to me $13.75. I don't even know if I'm in the circle. I'm not. Oh, I'm close, though. He says, thanks, Phil. Thank you, Anthony. That's the biggest tip of the night. Biggest contribution of the night. Let's get Anthony up on the leaderboard here. $13.75. And 75 cents. 75 cents. So it's a $31 tips tonight. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Okay. What else is in this house before I have to move on? Because I do have to move on. Nothing. Level 2 backpack instead of level 1. And some ammo. That's it? I used the one... Oh, can't recover above current level. Oh, because the med pack sucks. I need the energy drinks and shit to recover higher than that. The bar See, I don't know if the barrel's any good. Because remember, I didn't play this for like a year. They added that gun during that time frame, so I don't know if the barrel is any good at all. Dooley Dread, what's up, man? Oh my god, Dooley Jet, we're not here to talk about... <clears throat> what the fuck? What? Huh? What the fuck? I 
I guess I got sniped? Jesus Christ. That's never happened to me before in this game. Usually when I'm in a house, I almost never get shot through a window like that. So that come completely fucking threw me for a loop. And it's, look, it's this fucking stream sniper. I don't know what to do to, to, to stop the stream sniping at this point in this piece of shit game. Because I'm, I'm actually hiding my drops and everything, and these idiots are still fucking, uh... Oh, here we go. Griefing. Yeah, perfect. I got to report them. I didn't know you could report. Nice. There's actually a report system. Who knew? You know, I'm hiding my fucking drops and everything, and these fuckers are still finding a way, and it just, it just shows even worse how, how even worse this game off is. The fact that the gunplay's terrible, the... Graphics are garbage. The game core gameplay mechanics suck. The frame rate's bad. Oh, by the way, easily people can stream snipe you too. It's like everything is bad about this game. So there you go. Figure that one out. So how the fuck seriously, how the fuck would you have even known that I was there? You see what I mean? Like wow, that's awful. Terrible stream sniping. Anyway, P dubs, P W dubs to me a dollar. I believe own, you owning people calling you Dave or trying to troll you with frogs but not letting them bother you is one of the greatest wins in the anime of Dark Side Phil. Great, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to try again. Again, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to avoid uh, having these people join my game. Like, literally, I'm, I'm hiding the audio. I'm hiding the fucking visuals. You have no idea when I'm dropping. You know what I mean? Like, you have absolutely no idea. At any moment, I could be pressing the button to start the drop. So you have no idea where, you know, and I, I've hide everything. So I have no idea how the fuck these guys are, are do cheating like this. It's so pathetic. It really is. Like, how are they doing it? I don't know. The truth of the matter is, I like the, I like playing with you guys anyway, so I really don't give a fuck. I'll keep playing anyway, but... Uh, yeah... Just resubscribe for eight months in a row, and he says, uh, "Oh, he did the do the two dab emotes, which is nice." And then Joe Dirt tipped a dollar. He says, "You should replace PUBG with Sega Genesis Mini." Well, I am going to be going back eventually to the Genesis Mini. I played a ton of the Genesis Mini when it first came out, and I started playing the SNES Mini, and I was like, "Damn, there's like a lot of SNES games in this collection. I'd like to play more." So that's why I've been doing on and off the SNES stuff. But I am planning on, on eventually going back to the Genesis Mini. So. <clears throat> PW dubs to me a dollar. She says, this year is an election year. You should have an election for a new mod. There can be several candidates, like Derek and Mr. Papavera, and you can post a poll. Uh, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works at all. If someone's interested in being a mod and they contact me about it, and then I consider them, and we have some discussions, and then we determine if we want to adopt them as a mod or not. And either Derek nor Mr. Papavera have uh, des uh, displayed the desire to want to be a moderator on my streams, and I would never go out of my way to ask them to do so. So there you go. Loudest fart. We subscribe for 26 months. I am the loudest fart. What type of fart are you? All right, so now I'm going to start my airdrop, everyone. Just so everyone knows, I'm now starting my airdrop. So all the trolls who want to sync with me, sync now. Because I'm starting it right now, okay? <laughs> uh... Third of the third of the player base on Xbox is really small now. I guess because it's been years, right? He says, chances are, if the stream sniper really even just starts around the same time as me, he might just get into the same server. I mean, I guess that's a good, that, that could be true. I don't know. I guess that could be true. So here, now I won't even show you... Um, I won't even show you dropping until I'm on the ground. Will that avoid the stream sniping? I don't know how they're doing it, so... <laughs> Am I allergic to pollen? Some pollen. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> I definitely know that there's some pollen that bothers me because I get congested, I have itchy, itchy, watery eyes and everything. But some of it doesn't bother me because it's not everything. I know that for a f I know that. So I definitely have some pollen allergies. I just don't know what kind of pollen it is that I'm allergic to.
Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now, I believe I can actually show you guys where I'm landing. Okay. Here I am. <laughs> now, if he's if this stream sniper seriously shows up on top of me this time, I don't see how I could avoid it. Like, how how would that how would I stop him? Oh fuck! There's someone right there. Great. No gun. They've got a gun. And I don't. Hi. <laughs> well, that was a complete waste of time. They literally landed on top of a gun. And I didn't land on anything, so I couldn't do anything. Great. All right. Well, that was a fun match, wasn't it? This game fucking sucks. It really does, man. They landed li li right on top of a gun. And I had nothing in the two buildings I went in. Oh, man. I agree this game is fucking booty. I hope, I certainly hope that when, uh, when Black Ops, I almost said Black Ops for Blackout. Oh, my God. When Modern Warfare gets its Battle Royale, I hope that it's all right. I hope that it's not, like, so abysmally bad, like the multiplayer. Seriously, like... Hopefully, it's at least half. As long as I, I, I would hope it's as good as Black Ops 4 Blackout. You know, like that's what I want. I don't want anything worse or better than to just make it as good as Black Ops 4 Blackout was, so that way we can at least get some other value out of Modern Warfare. Because right now the game is just fucking a complete waste of time. I'm never playing it again because that multiplayer is terrible. You know. Oh man. All right, X Duck Caliber resub for ten months. Thank you, X Duck Caliber, for ten months of support. Snake Eater 1247 did 101-bit cheer to become the cheerleader of the night. Let me go ahead and get them up on the Vita board. Thank you, Snake Eater. Very nice. Again, wait a minute. It says 1147. I wanted 12. What happened? Remember, guys, best way to support me tonight is by tipping me, but I appreciate all contributions, so thank you to everyone who's jumped in so far. Remember, we are trying to get subs up to hit a sub goal for this month. Let's see how we're actually doing in that regard. We're at 630 subs. Great. Guess what? See, see, guys? This is why I wanted to wait to do the sub goal, and now you see what happened. You see what happened? So I was afraid of this. We, got, we had a giant dip in subs today. No lie. Uh, last night, when I got came home from uh my day off we were at si over 670 subs this morning we were at 650 now we're at 630 and it's not that people aren't subbing it's that there's a freaking i guess there was a sub bomb or whatever last month and they all expired now and this is what happens then we get a giant dip in subs i hate when this happens that's why i was trying to wait i was trying to purposely wait to do the sub goal for this month till the sub bombs expired apparently i still i still jumped the gun a little early God damn it. So now we gotta wait. <laughs> we gotta wait and see what I, I would assume that's it, because that was a lot. That was within within two days, that was over 40 subs that, that dropped. So you have to think that's it. That was the sub bomb. It expired. So now, hopefully, as people sub, it'll start to climb up again. Um, I'll have to reassess. We'll see in a couple days if we're making headway. If we're making headway, great. If not, maybe I'll just lower it a little bit. But this kind of stinks right now, you know. No, I will never eat a baked potato with Wendy's chili. Third out of the third says, I'm sure, sure someone will give subs. Don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will give subs, but no one's going to get 70 fucking subs. That's a lot, dude. You know what I mean? Joyful Oblivion did 100 bit chase. Battle Royale is complete tr trash. Real talk. I tend to agree with you, except I actually did enjoy the year that I played Black Ops 4 Blackout. I actually did. Like, I, I thought genuinely the game was kind of fun. And definitely the interactions that we had during it was super fun. So I definitely see the, the purpose of it. I think playing the, playing Battle Royale solo is probably terrible, but having a streaming audience to interact with while you play is actually pretty good, and that's why I play it. If I, didn't, if I was a streaming, I would not be playing Battle Royale. I wouldn't. i just drop it completely, because it's definitely not fun to play by yourself. That's for sure. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. I missed. I was trying to enable the visuals and the audio of the stream, and I missed my, my objective of landing here. Thank you, so joy, thank you, Joyful Oblivion, for the 100-bit cheer. ATS 318, cheers. Are you, are you 
hype for cyber or excited for cyberpunk yeah i'll be honest with you not as much as witcher 3 that's for sure because i don't know the things that we've seen of cyberpunk just don't seem very interesting to me i haven't seen anything that's like blowing me away yet and the kind of ridiculously uh oh i gotta you know i gotta swear every five seconds we got sexual content every 10 seconds it turns me off you know Witcher wasn't like that. Witcher had adult content, but it wasn't like constant. It was a good RPG with good role playing and fantasy, uh, you know, stuff in it, and great meaningful quest lines. And I just hope that all Cyberpunk doesn't become like GTA. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we want to be the next GTA, so we're gonna go all out, just like over the top, crazy, stupid shit, like GTA, to try to get teens to buy our game and make money. I hope that's not what it's gonna be. All right, I could be completely wrong, but. You know, the theory going around is why do you think Keanu Reeves is in the game, right? Because he's so hot because of John Wick. And they're thinking, oh, if we just cram him in, now we can get like a stupid action style game where, yo, know, Keanu Reeves is in it. He'll get all the teens to buy it. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see, I guess. <clears throat> I hope I hope it's good. I mean, I'm being honest. I really do hope it's good. Uh, I'm just not nearly as hyped as most other people because I, if it was like Witcher, I, if, if this were Witcher 4, I'd be freaking out like, this is awesome. I can't wait for the game. But being that it's a new IP, and I haven't liked the preview stuff they've shown so far in regards to the way that they're presenting this game, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know how, how it's going to go. <clears throat> okay. A broken flashlight. Okay. Oh, my nose is just... Alright. Well, which way are we going? Oh, we're, we're basically in the ring as I head over here. Okay. What about Ghost of Tsushima? I, didn't, I haven't seen anything additional about that game since the E3 presentation. What was it, two years ago? Yeah, because it wasn't 2019. It was 2018, right? Um, That's the last time I saw anything about it. It looked good then. But, you know, then again, that was before Sekiro. So, <laughs> I don't know. I hope, I hope it ends up being good. All right. Yeah, I know there was a new trailer in December. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I didn't even see the new trailer. Okay. A holographic sight. A frying pan. Bandages. Is that a compensator? Okay. I have no idea if this gun I have is good or not. I really don't. Okay. That's right, my job is literally to play video games, not to follow news of video games. Someone just said, his job is only to play video games and he doesn't follow games. I was like, you're right, because I play them. You, you you hit it right on the head. My, I'm not a gaming news site. My job is to play the games, not to follow all the news about all the games. How the fuck do I max? How do I max? What the fuck? What the fuck? All I need to do is tap. Oh my god. I really hate the controls of this fucking game. Oh my god. I wanted to put the scope on this gun and now it's not on it. Oh my god, I hate it. Why do I have two pans? 
How is it even possible to have two pans? I didn't even know that was possible. Okay. Christ. Let's see here. Uh, Uzi Gohar cheer cheered 50 bits. Thank you. Uh, Vince is saying that the live action Aladdin is on Disney Plus. Am I excited to watch it? Probably not. Uh, Kat and I have wanted to watch the animated one for a while and we haven't had a chance to do it. Eventually, maybe I'll check out the live action, but I didn't hear too many great things about it. I remember when it came out, I asked you guys on stream, is it any good? And everyone was like, meh. <laughs> they were like, meh. Eh, it's, it's, it's not even, you know, it's not even as good as the animated. Everyone liked Robin Williams. Are we getting a better value out of Disney Plus compared to Netflix? I would say initially when I got Netflix, okay, it was a really cool gimmick because it was like, damn, there's all this original on-demand content and everything. And basically what happened was over about a year, two years that I had Netflix, I watched a few shows on there that I liked, but in general... Nine times out of ten, whenever I tried to watch something that, like, is offside of something that I knew what it was or whatever, I didn't like it. Oh, a new original movie. Nah, it's kind of shitty. Oh, a series I never heard of. Nah, it's kind of shitty. You know, there are very few, very few uh, shows on there that I thought were great. I thought Black Mirror was great, and then they made these new episodes that weren't, like, a real season, but, like, these mini-movies, and I hated the episodes. I was like, damn, these episodes suck ass now. They're not even good anymore. It's like that's the series lost its way. I don't like this. So, really, the only thing on Netflix that I still liked was Stranger Things. Outside of that, none of the original stuff was really doing it for me. And I hadn't watched it in so long outside of Stranger Things. It was just wasting time. Um, and mo Actually, wasting money is what I should say. And so with Disney Plus coming out, knowing that both my, my, my wife and I are fans of you know, the Disney movies... Knowing that I would probably eventually watch things like Star Wars or some of the Marvel movies. Like I said, I finally saw Avengers Endgame, right? It's more value. It absolutely, I get more value out of Disney Plus now than I was getting out of Netflix. At first, like I said, Netflix I was getting a lot out of. But, you know, that changed over time. And now definitely Disney Plus is, is much better value. <clears throat> You gotta remember, remember, Disney Plus is brand new, too. Over time, just like Netflix, I'm sure they're gonna add tons of additional content that's gonna be really good. Right now, they're only, they only got their initial... What the fuck? That guy's an idiot. Anyway, as I was saying... Where is he? What the fuck? Oh. Um, yeah, we got it in the neck. <laughs> you got it right in the neck. Ugh. Wait, is my backpack full? Does he have a better backpack than me? Nope, he has backpack level one as well. Uh, put that on. Wait, what? Not enough space? I want to put it on the gun. There, okay. I'm trying to put them on the gun. They're telling me not enough space. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, initially you gotta realize these guys, that right now, all they have is, like, the original Disney classics, some of the movies from recently, um, some of, you know, the Star Wars stuff, and the Marvel movies. But eventually, they're gonna end up having so much, you know they're gonna have tons of original series, you know that they're gonna have, like, just so much content on there, just like Netflix. When Netflix started, it didn't have a ton, it was mostly you know, content from other channels, other networks, and then they added their own original content over the years to the, to the point they had an insane body of work on there. And I know that Disney Plus is going to be the same thing. So, right now I'm liking it. In two, three years, maybe I'll be bored with it just like I was with Netflix, but who knows. What I really like, and this is the truth, uh, by the way, I know some, some people have contributed and I will give you guys shout-outs. I'm just I'm still talking about this. Um, one thing that I still, get, I still get value out of is WWE Network. Like, some weeks on WWE Network, I'll watch what's new. I'll watch, oh, NXT or NXT UK. Um, but then, I'll just, on a whim, I'll go back and I'll start watching, like, old school shit. Um, like, like they had these Christmas episode, episodes on. It was, like, Christmas episodes of the shows that have been on WWE TV from all the way back in the 80s and shit. 
So I started watching, like, pff, Rowdy Roddy Piper play Scrooge in, like, uh, A Christmas Carol. I was like, what is this? So fucking weird. So I'm, <laughs> I'm watching all this oddball stuff that's on the network. But then I go back to the normal stuff that's new stuff again. It's like there's so much value there as a, as a, as a lifelong wrestling fan that I can get. I'm going back and watching the classic stuff, but then watching the new stuff, you know? So, <clears throat> there you go. Um, okay, a few shout-outs. The Hate tipped me $5 and says, I'm going to do... Uh, oh, what did he say? He says, Suffering Marathon, where you do 50 hours of Street Fighter V or 100% Final Fantasy VIII. Evil Maniacal Laughter. I would much rather play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm serious. I would much rather play Final Fantasy VIII than play Street Fighter V. I, I would definitely... If I had a choice, I would play Final Fantasy VIII every day of the week before I would play Street Fighter V again. So thank you for that. Thank you for that $5 tip. Uh, Anthony the Dark one again tipped me another $2.06. And he says... Oh my god. Indigestion. He says, I'm going to do shopping run. I know sometimes you do top tipper gets to do or name something. Don't worry about it for me if I'm still the top tipper. Uh, I'm easy to take care of if I don't make it back in time. Have a great stream. First of all, thank you for being the top contributor of the night. We actually don't really do that for PUBG. Um... It's usually Pokemon or Minecraft and a few other things, too, sometimes when we get an opportunity to do it. Um, but thank you for being the top contributor so far tonight. I appreciate that, Anthony. Third of the third series, and maybe come up with a better incentive for people to sub, like games where you can play multiplayer with subs. You already have consistency of a strict schedule. A longer day or night stream on Friday and Saturday. A longer stream once a week would be nice. Put a little more effort into the streams. Whether by making them longer, interacting more ways. Thanks, third of the third. Billy the Exterminator tipped me a dollar. He's a warrior shirt. That I got from Teespring, I got bullied at school for wearing it. What should I do? Um, don't wear it to school. Or, you know, you could complain to the authorities and say, I got bullied, and I don't think I should get bullied, and then they'll probably arrest the bullies. I wouldn't be surprised if in the modern day, the bullies got arrested and, like, deported or something. But the way that the world is now, I was bullied all through high school. No one gave a fuck. I'm serious. I complained to every authority. No one cared. Everyone's like, whatever. I'm like, gee, okay, fine. I'll do with it in my own way. And it didn't go too well the day when the kid tried to attack me in, 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 in uh, the classroom. So I pushed him so hard against the wall that he made a dent in the fucking wall. And after that, he didn't really fuck with me anymore. <laughs> he was like, oh. Like, yeah, I'm actually going to fight back since no one in authority back then would help with any shit like that. I was like, fuck this. <clears throat> Although I do regret the time when another asshole was bullying me. So I grabbed him and I pushed him as hard as I could and he flew backwards and knocked it down like no lie like four or five desks and, and then the desks careened into a girl and the girl got hit by a desk and was like what the fuck and I was like well I'm sorry this guy was you know, being a complete asshole I really wish that, that didn't happen to you because you didn't deserve that. <laughs> Things that never happened by Phil oh yeah? <laughs> Things that never happened? Listen. Listen, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> These things did happen. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm about to get killed. Never saw him. Couldn't, I couldn't hear from the surround sound where the bullets were coming from. Because it's just stereo sound in this game. At least I'm not getting stream sniped anymore, but that was still a bad experience. <clears throat> okay. That's right, I got bullied in the game. Now I'm going to find that person and push them so hard against the wall, it's going to dent the wall. <laughs> That's right. Hello, Lipstein. How's it going? No, the truth is, like, people who keep fucking with me in my life, you know, my, even when I was in high school. Like, I didn't want to bother anyone. I didn't want to be involved in any kind of fucking drama or shit or nothing. But people, you know, they, they prey on people like you, like me. Because I'm a kind of guy that just wants to relax and have a good time and, you know, be easy going. And these fucks are like, oh, look, here's someone who we can push around now because he doesn't have a posse, you know. And you, These fucking assholes who they, they feel so wimpy and bad about themselves that they have to try to find people to push and around and bully, you know. And the truth of the matter is, I wasn't a small guy. I'm almost six feet tall. But it just so happens that these were kids who, like, were so fucked up. They probably have broken homes and shit. And then they come to school and they look for people to fucking pick on. It's like... That's just so screwed up. You know, I had a good home life, so I'm not coming to school to beat people up. You know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tim Fool says, tip me a dollar, just look out behind me. Oh, you mean in the game? Oh, you're a little late. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. No, it's not true at all. I, I killed Phil. I never said that. In reality, because he says, oh, I thought because you were so tall, no one would have fucked with you. No, the truth of the matter is, a lot of the kids at my high school were taller than me. Even though I'm six feet tall, there were still, like kids that were like six one, six two, six three. Like there were some really tall kids in, in my high school. Kids are like abnormally large. Like Jesus Christ, why are they so tall? <clears throat> no, I did not kill my bully. I. <laughs> It, uh, but, but I've told this story before, but a funny story. So when I was in college, okay, I, I still had like AOL Instant Messenger and I still had all the people from school wh who I knew were in AOL Instant Messenger. So I had like a lot of their names or whatever, or they would share each other's names. So even if it wasn't someone I was friendly with, sometimes I would get someone else's name or they would get my name and, and people would still know how to contact you. So here I am in like college. I was at least a year in the college, okay, or university, as you guys call it, across the pond. Um, and I get a message from that guy who I told you was bullying me in class. I pushed him so hard he fell into the desks or whatever. He fucking messages me in college, and he goes, Oh, Phil, I just want to let you know, you know, now I've really grown up and I matured from how I was back then, and I really feel really bad about what I did. And I'm thinking to myself, this kid is, like, so tormented by doing stupid shit in high school, you know, like for me, it was like, was it, was it shitty what happened at the time? Of course it was. I didn't like getting bullied, but as soon as I was in college, I didn't give a fuck about that. You know, I wasn't, none of the kids from my high school were in the same college as me or nothing. I think there was like two, no, no lie, like two kids went from high school to the same college as me or something like that. So I had no contact really with anyone from high school anymore. And you know, the guy comes back and he, like, apologizes. I'm like, dude, like, really? Like, you let it get you so bad that you bullied people in high school that, like, he was tormenting you and this is what you're thinking about in college? Like, what is going on? <laughs> you gotta really feel bad because now you're real there. Like, is this kid, like, depressed and shit? You know, is he, like, really fucked up in the head where he's, like, dwelling on the past things he's done? And he's young. You know, when you're, high when you're in college, you're, like, 20 years old. And this guy's, like, dwelling on bullying people in high school. Like, Jesus Christ. What a life. I basically told him I didn't care. I was like, dude, you know, the past is the past. I don't care. You don't have to message me about this shit. I don't give a shit, you know? And that was where I left it. I didn't care. But, I mean, wow, that was that was weird to me. Like, it really was fucking odd. <clears throat> oh, a lot of cheers came in. Holy shit. Big D's did a 102-bit cheer. Did you find it hard to get into Mario 64 when it first came out after playing Mario in 2D for so long? Uh, yes and no. I would say, yeah, it was very different from, from 2D Mario, so for me it was a little bit of a learning curve. But I did adjust to it and ended up really liking it. Um, compare that with my, my reception of Zelda, uh, Ocarina of Time, which was the opposite. I actually did not enjoy Zelda Ocarina of Time because I was so used to top-down Zelda and I did not adapt very well. So it's weird how I adapted in one franchise, but I couldn't adapt in the other. I don't know. Because I, I suck, right? Because I'm terrible. I'm, I'm awful at games, and so it makes sense that I would be, you know, awful in my, my ability to adapt as well. We all know this. <laughs> we all know this. We're not going to pussyfoot around it. I'm awful at everything in life, as people say, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Doodly Dread tipped me a dollar. John tipped me a dollar. Snake Eater 1247 did a 105-bit cheer to become the top cheer of the night. Uh, actually, I take it back. Snake Eater did a 103-bit cheer. Uh, Big D's did a 104-bit cheer. Uh, then Snake Eater did a 105-bit cheer. Philly Bug Eye cheered 50 bits. And which kid in the Breakfast Club were you? I don't even, I don't remember that movie. I think I've seen it once. And I don't remember it, so I couldn't even answer that. Um, Big D's did a 106-bit cheer. Then Snake Eater did a 136-bit cheer. Then Orcs or Dorks did a 150-bit cheer. Then Big D's did a 186-bit cheer, which then prompted Snake Eater to do a 200-bit cheer. So we had quite a bit of cheer warring going on right there. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. We have not had an actual cheer war in quite some time here on the stream. So that's nicely uh, you know, nicely done, and thank you for the support. And it's hilarious because Polish Trucks is all aboard the hype train. Choo-choo. Right, if, if the hype train feature had been enabled tonight... That probably would have been enough to kick up a hot, kick off a hype train, whatever it is, because that for the way they described it, David, that's how it was. If you get several contributions in a short period of time, 
it starts a hype train that like fills up a bar, and then you get these special messages popping up on screen. And if people keep contributing, then they earn earn emotes and stuff. But apparently, it doesn't work. <laughs> there you go. All right. Also, thank you, Joyful Oblivion, for a hundred bit cheer. Hold on a second. So let me get Snake Eater up there as the top cheer. Well, that was rude. I was trying to update the leaderboard and some fucker threw a fucking Molotov in here. This is very exciting. Oh, look. I killed them both. I killed both fucking stream snipers. You've got to be joking me. I killed them fucking both. They're the worst stream snipers ever. Ever! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I've never seen worse players in my life. You've got to be fucking kidding. Oh my god. It's probably two dumb fuck kids. Two little fucking kids, right? Holy shit. Oh my god. I I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. Oh my god. Anyway, continuing on. <laughs> oh Oh my god. Anyway, let's continue on. Third out of the third, thanks for the 50 bit cheer. But I'm not going to go there with your drama nonsense. Crab cocked at 100 bit cheer. He says, Philly boy, what can we expect to see Cat back on the stream? I told you, pretty much never. She doesn't want anything to do with the stream. She wants absolutely nothing to do with the stream. As I've told you guys a million times, I don't know why I always ask the same question. PJ Takeo tipped me a dollar saying, if, if, uh, when I asked you the other day about if you would get divorced, if you would tell us. Detractors are using that as evidence now of that, that you're having marriage problems. That's because they're idiots. That's because they literally make shit up to, to create drama for themselves so they have something to talk about because they're boring people. Their entirety of existence on the internet revolves around me. And if nothing is going on with me, they have absolutely nothing to talk about because they're worthless fucking boring humans. So that's what they do. They fabricate shit constantly. <clears throat> it's definitely not rocket science. Ah. This we drop. And this we drop. And this we drop. Like, seriously, what do you think these people would do without me? 
They've, they've made entire cultures and communities based off of making fun of me and ripping off my stuff on a daily basis. So what would they even do if I was, didn't exist? Right? <laughs> I... <laughs> Anyway, Snake Eater cheered. He said, how do you know that they're stream snipers? Did you see their names? It was two detractor names. So, of course, they're the stream snipers. They're the guys who've been trying to track me down the entire time I'm playing this. And they're pathetic losers who got double killed by me because they're idiots. The sad part is, think about it. They had to coordinate that. They're probably talking over the phone and shit. <laughs> I'm going to jab it with a med tab and you can get a car jab it at me. Yeah, man, we're so badass, we're going to go in there, man, and we're going to punch him to death. Watch this. Oh, shit. <laughs> you fucking losers. <clears throat> See, full $2 million said, wow, I agree. X Cisco, resubscribe for 12 months. Thank you, X Cisco, for the resub. I appreciate that. I am not in the circle. The circle moved. I gotta move. <sighs> I'm not being a good sport. What are you talking about? Two fucking stream snipers who are blatantly cheating. They're watching the stream to cheat and get an advantage on me so I can't put on an entertaining stream. And you think that it's not being a good sport to make fun of them? Are you a fucking idiot? Oh, I guess you are. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but you see Third Eye the Third. You may be, but not them. And here's what I mean. See, Third Eye Third says, well, if you were to stop streaming, they would simply move on to something else. But here's the thing. You say that. He says, oh, we watch other streamers. We do other shit, other stuff. You're right. I noticed Third Eye, you're not here every stream. These people are here every stream. They illegally restream me every chance they possibly can. They, they steal my content every chance they possibly can. You know, it's what I mean. Like, they've tried to do other things and no one cares. You know? A certain person who restreams me tried to do original streams of content. No one cared. No one would show up for those. They tried to make fun of other people. No one would show up for those. They only show up whenever he's restreaming me. That's it. Which is why he has to keep going back to me. You know? That's what's pathetic is that their entire existence and popularity relies on me. Without me, they don't exist. It really, and all S is, is writing coattails. It's exactly what it is. It's writing coattails. Because if I'm not right wearing the coat and leading the way, they got nothing to do. Because no one cares about fucking them, man. No one does. I would say this, all right? Now, this will be interesting, of course. No one will do this, but I will throw this out there. If these people who regularly steal my shit who regularly restream me illegally and do all this nasty stuff to me. If they really have talent, okay, then I propose a challenge. This, I, this will never happen. I propose a challenge. All right? Starting tonight, go, geez, two months. Two months without talking about me, without illegally restreaming my shit, without making fun of me. Go, Just go two months, all right? Find a way to bring people to your stream Outside of writing my coattails, do it for yourself. Prove to yourself that you can actually do something that ta has talent in it besides just making fun of me. Because if it weren't for me, you wouldn't exist, right? For two months, I dare you, I fucking dare you to go out there and do something that will bring in the audience and give, make you the money that you're making now, all right, without me. I dare you. And the truth of the matter is, it's a win win, and here's why. Because for two months, if you guys leave me alone, it'll be the best two months ever. You know, I won't have any negativity, any toxic shit, any assholes fucking with me. And it may let people see me in a new light because they'll be like, damn, no one made fun of Phil for two months. Oh, shit. Oh, you leaned. That was smart. I don't see, I don't even know how to lean. He leaned because I was thinking, oh, he's going to peek out. So, whatever. Anyway, this game. Whoa, no, 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 no. I don't want to report them. No, they didn't do anything wrong. What the fuck did I hit? I want to say bad experience, though. All right, but anyway. Two months. Two months of existing on the internet. Somehow retaining your popularity. Somehow still making money, right? Like you're making off of me and stealing my shit. I dare you to do it. I dare you to do it and do it with your own content, your own original shit, without ripping me off. If you can do it for two months, 
at least you'll get some credit. People are like, damn, okay, you know, we thought maybe this guy was a one-trick pony because he rips off Phil every night or every day, whether it's you're live restreaming him or ripping his stuff and doing nasty videos on YouTube or whatever constantly. Maybe if you could do something different and actually retain some kind of talent, right? You could show that you actually have talent for yourself and made some kind of positive, constructive content outside of ripping me off, then people would give you some credibility. But I'm sorry, how can I give you credibility when all you do is you exist because of me, right? And that's what it is. These people, that's what, what third eye, oh, if you didn't stream, well, you know, they'd be gone, you know, we could move on to something else. Maybe, but I get the feeling these people would disappear. Because the only time they can get any kind of notoriety is when, they, when they're when they doing stuff with my stuff or making fun of me, you know? That's what people have told me, that they try to do their own original stuff. Doesn't work. No one watches it. They try to make fun of other people. Doesn't work. No one likes it. It's only when it's me that for some reason people like it. So, that's my challenge to you. If you're one of the people who literally all you can do and get any notoriety is by making fun of me or trolling me, two months... I challenge you to make other content not doing that for, to me for two months and let's see how popular you really are by the end of the two months. Because chances are you ain't going to be fucking existing at all. No one's going to watch your shit because they're only watching you because of me anyway. All right. Um, so some shout outs here. Um, let's see here. Good Game Goblin tipped me a dollar to stream cybers are the internet equivalent of asshole friend that looks at your half of the screen. I mean, I guess, yeah. But I don't... You know, old school games that was a, that was possible to cheat like that. That is true. You know, not anymore because now everyone just online co-op. Sour Patchy cheers. Says you seem angry. Did you have a bad dinner? No, I'm not angry at all. I'm I'm answering questions very matter of factly. Big D's did a 500 bit cheer. So I must win the cheer wars. But then Snake Eater did a 700 bit cheer. So Snake Eater actually has uh overcome here with the with the cheer war tonight. So far, anyway. Let's get him up there. The 700 bit cheer. Shit. There we go. Thank you, Snake Eater. Uh, let's see here. Oh, um, crap cock that 100 bit chase. Sorry, Philly boy, I'm confused. The fellow you're talking about that restreams you is responsible for, for making Cat not want to be on the stream. Not him personally, but in general, it was, what was it, Halloween 2018? No. Yes. Yeah, 2018, where one particular person was restreaming me, making nasty jokes. And then there, the viewers came over from his stream to mine and repeated those disgusting jokes on my stream, which made my wife get completely upset and said, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, she's like, I have enough stress in my life. I have enough stuff going on that I don't need people who I don't know. And I've never done anything nasty to saying these insanely horrible things about me. I'm just not, you know, I, I'm not going to put up with it. I was like, I agree with you. You don't have to be here and be bullied, you know, just for the sake of because you decided to be on my stream because these people are fucked up, you know, and that's it. And since then, never never once has she wanted to come back ever. The one exception was she thought if there was a really good enough game that we could do like co-op in um, like in Wolfenstein Youngblood. And I told her the way we could do that is she would play in her room across the hall. I would play here we do it over the internet with voice chat. That way she wouldn't have to see the stream chat or whatever. But the game ended up sucking. So. <clears throat> PW Dubs to me a dollar says, I know this is a dumb question. Don't get mad. Have you ever thought, oh my God. No. The truth of the matter is I've never, I never thought of cheating on anybody. That's true. I am, I'm a very, very uh, loyal guy, and I would never think about cheating on anyone. I've never, I've never cheated on anyone I've been with, and I would never cheat on anybody. That's just me. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I cheated on, on someone. Just being honest, I wouldn't be able to. <clears throat> you know, I got problems with depression. I got all kinds of problems already. Uh, I Seriously, with all the things that people have done to me fucked up in my life, for me to cheat on someone, that's like the ultimate, the ultimate betrayal. So, you know, no, absolutely not. Um, third out of the third cheered. Um, dude, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about this crap. <laughs> I'm not talking about this, this negative shit. You should stop right now. Frost is a trap. Is reset for four months. Has, have a nice night. All right. Have a nice night. Thank you. Uh, crap cocked at 100 bit cheer. He said, let's play some video games. Fuck the drama. That's what I'm trying to do, but the game sucks. And... The stream snipers are still fine. You notice, though, that game, it took them longer. You notice that, right? It took them much longer to find me, more than likely because...